All right, so what I got, so I seen you early on, like, from the beginning, like, you was part of the drill scene, like, early on, because, like, you was in the, uh, this ain't what you want video. Yeah. So you never thought about rapping back then when you seen it take I it off? I rapped way before this, that's what I'm telling you, before I had, I had, I didn't take it serious, bro, like, you know what I'm saying? I played my part, I played my position, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, it's a lot come with this street shit, bro, like. When I say Horizon, bro, like Chicago, that's my city. I love my city. Like, like man, you dumb as hell. You steady coming back, bro. Like, I got seven kids, bro. You know what I'm saying? I got seven, bro. My old is 16. So, like, when I be coming to the city, I don't just be coming to the city just do dumb shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm 33, gang. Like, I don't got to sit here and just talk to him and, and tell him what I'm on. And then, oh, yeah, he just did some dumb just told him don't go and he just went anyway. No, bro, I be, I, be, I be going to see my kids. I be going up there to stand on business. That's my city, gang. Like, they don't be understanding that. So, like, it's like how I got to move. They be harassing me so much and be on my bro. Like, be scary. You know what I'm saying? It's so scary. So, like, I be having to watch this. Shit. That all played the part with me doing interviews and telling people my lifestyle ain't to be televised, bro. Because, like, I'm seeing, like, I'm going through these legal situations, you know what I'm saying? To everybody else, oh, this dumbass that he getting locked up, his ass in jail, bro. He love jail, you know what I'm saying? Half of this shit don't be my fault, bro. Half of these cases I be beating and fighting gang don't be having shit to do with me. Literally be the wrong place at the wrong time because the name I built for myself as a shorty, you know what I'm saying? I probably built my name off doing some little bully shit in school or being bad as hell, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They be putting too much sauce on the name and that shit for them off legally, like, I'm fighting a gang child in Georgia right now, bro, some shit. I don't got nothing to do with it. You feel me? They yeah. they they got me tagged as a black disciple. I've never been a black disciple a day of my life. You feel me? Talking about a high influence you game member in Chicago. But that's Chicago police knowing that I'm in Georgia. Me, Dirk, and Vaughn was fighting the case in, in Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? So once we beat that case, they sick a motherfucker beat that case. So they just call it down. I'm knowing what it is. They in cahoots with each other. Oh, yeah. He's not a civilian. Y'all make sure y'all know this. You know what I'm saying? He's a high influence you game member in Chicago. This ain't third. So now... While I'm thinking I'm tucked in low-key fighting this case while I'm on house arrest, I beat that shit. Y'all slap another case up. Bro, I'm steady fighting legal situation. I'm on a band right now, literally, because shit ain't got nothing to do with me, gang, but I know I'm a bitty. You feel me? Yeah. That shit be hurting them, bro. I didn't beat attempt murders. I didn't beat murders. I didn't beat armed robberies. Like, I didn't beat a lot of shit, gang. You feel me? Like, shout out to bro. You know what I'm saying? They stood on business for my, for, for, for my, for my body. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie to you. That, that situation right there changed my life, period. So, like, me jumping out in the streets doing dumb shit was never my plans. You know what I'm saying? Like, I sat in that motherfucker four and a half years, lost a lot while I was in that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? And what that year came was this? Place. When you... 2000, I believe that was 14 to 2018. Okay. I was in that four and a half years fighting my murder route. Look, just to, like, try to go in order a little bit, what was your high school experience like? Because that was kind of, like, before the drill wave Barely. popped off. I was only a freshman, bro. I was in juvenile DLC for oh, armed okay. robbery. Really? I did, I did four years as, as a juvenile. What happened with this uh, alleged armed robbery situation? Uh... I was in, I was a juvenile, so my juvenile background, so it, it didn't really affect me because I, when I had went to trial, lost trial, I lost trial as a uh, juvenile. They didn't charge me as an adult back then because I was a thirteen when I caught the. Um, but that took you out of high school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was thirteen. My uh, <clears throat> I was in Chicago. This when I was out south with my mama. You know what I'm saying on the low end and from my block and shit. I was stealing cars in grammar school, bad as hell. You know what I'm saying. Man, my man, that's my right hand man that's here with me right now. You know what I'm saying. So like. Me and bro used to be bad as hell when we was kids. We was you still pilling up this one. You can pill up the car, steal a car and shit. My OG really ain't had no control over me, dog. My grandmama raised me, so my mama really like, you know what I'm saying? She was hard on me, but at the same time, like, she couldn't control me. So, like, she had sent me down south with my, uh, my grandma moved from up north when, 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 when the situation happened. My grandma had moved down south or whatever. So my mama... Send me down there, down south for a family reunion for my great grandma and my uh, family reunion. And I never made it back to Chicago when I was 13, you feel me? It's what, a crazy you, story, bro. You ended bro. up stealing a car down there? No, no, I'm going to tell you the situation. It was a crazy okay. story, bro. So uh, my OG sent me down there with my grandma and shit. It was in Cairo, Illinois, to be exact, you know what I'm saying? She sent me down there because I was stealing cars in Chicago. She ain't had no control over me and shit. So I'm down there for the family reunion. So when everybody leave, they tricked me and went back to Chicago with all my family from Chicago. And left me down there with grandma, but grandma raised me, so I, I ain't mad, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to school down there and shit with grandma for a little bit, and I got fed up. Like, man, this ain't me. I don't fit in down here. Like, it was, everything was off. The whole town shut down at 6 o'clock in the afternoon. 
those stores open, the whole city be dead. But I mean, it was busting down. Don't get me wrong. I fuck with Carol Hard. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I met a lot of people. I know they be looking at me now, like damn, that, he was down here when he was shorty. But my OG sent me down there, so I was kind of bored down there because I'm used to the city, the fast life. So I had uh, it was a little nigga that was already incarcerated with the with the clicks I was hanging out hanging with down there. I was fighting a lot down there and shit. So everybody I was fighting and shit, they like, man, your last rough as hell, you man. I said, Chris Howell, ooh, this and third, he stay in jail. I'm like, nigga, I ain't never even been in jail down here. How man, y'all and him? But when he ended up coming home, me and him end up being cool as hell, locking in. So uh, I lock in with him and shit. So we just down there, just doing bad. That was my little rappy down there, just doing bad shit and shit. You know what I'm saying? And uh, His brother was in a high-speed chase one day down there. The town's so fucking small, I think it's like 35 blocks. You get what I'm saying? His brother was end up in a high-speed chase down there, bro. And back then... Like I told you, I'm 13, so I'm thinking some shit like a movie. I'm already plotting because I'm bored down here plotting in my head. Like, man, how the fuck is I going to get back to Chicago? Yeah. I ain't got no ID. I, ain't, I can't drive nine hours from Cairo to Chicago. No, that's all I'm thinking. So I'm sitting on my grandma's porch one day, bro, and uh, his brother was in a high-speed chase in the little Impala. She fly past. He had like seven cars on him, you feel me? But he took them all the way from uptown to, to downtown, back around the blocks. But it's a project's... The, they projects was like little row houses across the street from my grandma crib. It's a way in this way and a way in. It's only two ways in through the whole project community. You feel me? Ain't no back roads or nothing. So I was trying to see, like, if you in a high speed chase, he fucked them people up, bro. And it, it, it excited me. And I, I, I pulled the caper, man, that ain't even had no business doing, bro. But this is how I end up doing juvenile life and shit. So I, uh, I'm sitting on the porch and I'm watching him and shit on the high speed chase, but I knew who Impala was because I was hanging with his brother, you feel me? Yeah. So he go uptown, back downtown, go back uptown, but when they was, he seen there was so many cars on him, he went into the projects. So when he went to the projects, you know what I'm thinking in my head, like, oh, they finna box him in. It's only two ways in. They finna go in both ways, you feel me? And, and cut the front off. So the man went through that motherfucker, bro. I seen the cars going in the front, seen the cars going in the back. So I'm just sitting waiting to see what's gonna happen. I ain't get up. I'm just sitting on the front porch and watching everything. Guess what I see, man? This nigga walking through the projects, bro, like ain't shit happened. Mm -hmm. The nigga went through the back of the projects and hurry up, made it before the cars can get back there and threw a car co cover over the car. You feel me? And walked to the front. So when he got away, I got on my mind like, man, I'm finna use him as my getaway driver. I'm thinking about here like, man, whatever the fuck I'm finna do, I'm finna get back to Chicago. You feel me? And man, I was plotting for like two weeks, man. I robbed a motherfucking liquor store down there. Uh, I think it was on 2nd Street, bro. I was 13 years old. I robbed a liquor store, but I was plotting with my homie. I told him, like, man, I need your brother to be my driver. You know what I'm saying? He fucked the people up that day. You feel me? I'm like, I need your brother to be my driver. He like, uh, he like, I'm a holler at him. Water, bam. His brother was acting like he was with it, bro. But that was my fault. Like, you feel me? I met him how I met him, gang. Like, he was, we wasn't cut from the same cloth anyway. So that was my mistake as a shorty. I was a young nigga, young, young and dumb. You feel me? We had plotted. He like, his brother was telling me, like, man, shit, we can hit this liquor store. We might as well hit the one uptown, too. You feel me? So I uh back then, you know the uh where they where they where they do the scratch offs and, and play the lottery and shit. Mm -hmm. Me as a young nigga, guess what I was thinking in the lottery machine? Yeah. Millions of dollars. That's what I thought. <laughs> right. I ain't know no better. You know, I'm watching movies and shit. I did some fuck shit, man, on my kids. I we plotted out, playing out, we I, we end up robbing liquor store, I run them motherfucker, lay them down. But I'm so young to be in a liquor store, it wasn't nothing but a liquor store. They only play lottery and liquor. So I had gloves. I don't know how the fuck. I think I took my glove off or whatever, or I don't know what the fuck I did when I was shorty, but I had one through the whole case once I got arrested and shit. My fingerprint was on the counter, my, 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 uh, my, my index finger or whatever, you feel me? I had robbed the liquor store and shit, man. <clears throat> so actually the nigga that I told y'all that I clicked up with and, and, and got locked in with, he was already in jail for armed robberies as a shorty down there already, so he had a rap sheet, so... They end up arresting him and letting him back go just to, 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 to grab me with him. So he had called me one day to kick it with me, man. You feel me? And I pop out with him again after we we didn't we didn't get shit, but like I say, like nine hundred dollars, bro. I promise you, like after the whole liquor store, like on a robbery mm. and broke it down three ways. Like I was I was disappointed in myself. Like damn, it wasn't even shit. But we got away and everything. But he ended up getting arrested. I guess his felines or some shit. He had the same shoes on that he had. They grabbed mm. him. But they let him go just so he can grab me too, you feel me? Right. So they ain't do nothing but give him a parole violation if he would have wrapped me up with him or whatever, you feel me? So I had uh popped out with him one day, man, and they just smacked the projects. A hundred cars, you feel me? Booked me, I got locked up. And then they was telling me, like, man, you know what I'm saying? 14, you will be tried as we could still hold you till you 
17 and try you as an adult, you feel me? So all while I was sitting in a little juvenile down there, I'm just thinking, I told my mama, like, man, I'll take juvenile life before I have to go get transferred from juvenile to the adult facility, you know what I'm saying, and do all that. So I just took the little, I took the, uh, they, they, they left me as a D number because when you a juvenile, you either a felon, if you an F number, that means they charge you as an adult or a delinquent. I got charged, <laughs> excuse me, I got charged as a D number and just took a little time, you feel me? I did four and a half years as a juvenile, so my whole high school years, was over with, you feel me? I need everybody to check out nojumber.com. We officially started a blog. It has in-depth articles about current events, music, etc. plus all of our content in terms of podcasts, interviews, etc. And you can get some exclusive new merch if you check out nojumber.com. So make sure you tap in.